is the best preserved fossil of its kind ever found, and now scientists are unraveling new secrets about the mysterious nautosaur. The dinosaur, whose fossils look just like a statue, was first discovered in 2011 by miners in Fort McMurray, Alberta. Usually just the bones and teeth of a dinosaur are found preserved, but the creature's rapid undersea barrel 110 million years ago perfectly kept its skin and bones intact. A new study has revealed that the imposing spikes on the armor plating 110 million year old four legged tank dinosaur were also used for romance. Researchers have revealed the incredible rhino sized creature, described as the Mona Lisa of dinosaurs, has exaggerated spines along its neck and shoulders, which were likely used to attract a mate. The effect, also useful for intimidating rivals, would have been amplified by surrounding flesh, still visible thanks to the creature's incredibly conserved remains. The discovery was made by experts from the Royal Dural Museum where the creature, scientific name Borealopeltimark Micheli, is on display. Scientists have been examining the spectacular remains since it was officially unveiled in May, to learn more about how it lived. They found that the dinosaur's armor plates changed shape over its body, with the spiny protrusions towards the front of the bulky creature's body growing noticeably larger and more prominent. Its imposing shoulder spines have been compared by experts to the horns of a bull. They also uncovered fossilized sheaths made of the protein keratin surrounding the armor plates, which would have added to their bulk and length. Speaking to National Geographic, Dr. Caleb Brown, a researcher at the museum, said, for most of those elaborate structures in living animals, tail feathers in birds, coloration in lizards, horns in mammals, the driving, evolutionary, force is generally sexual selection. That doesn't preclude its function in defense or species recognition. Borealopeltimark Micheli is by no means alone in the animal kingdom for using multi-purpose protrusions for both love and war. From deer to elephants, many creatures use horns, antlers and other anatomical lumps and bumps as both defensive weapons, and to display their social status. When studying the purpose of such objects, scientists look for structures that grow to exaggerated sizes as an animal matures sexually. With B. Mark Micheli, studying this growth is impossible as the fossilized remains are one of a kind, and no immature bones have been found which they could compare to the adult specimen. Instead, Dr. Brown made the finding by measuring each of the fossil's 172 armor plates, which are believed to represent roughly two thirds of the plates it would have had while still alive. Scientists believe that when the dinosaur died, it fell into a river and was swept out to sea, where it sank on its back to the ocean floor. At that time, its stomping ground of Alberta, Canada, was as warm as South Florida is today, and rivers and oceans likely spread far further inland than they do now. This nautosaur is truly remarkable in that it is completely covered in preserved scaly skin, yet is also preserved in three dimensions, retaining the original shape of the animal, said Dr. Brown at the time it was unveiled.
the result is that the animal looks almost the same today as it did back in the early Cretaceous. You don't need to use much imagination to reconstruct it, if you just squint your eyes a bit, you could almost believe it was sleeping. The fossil is a newfound species of nodosaur, which lived midway through the Cretaceous period, between 110 million and 112 million years ago. The Cretaceous was a time when giant theropods, meat-eating dinosaurs that stood on two legs, roamed the Earth. Although the king of them all, Tyrannosaurus rex, lived millions of years after Borealopelta, the armored dinosaur may have been hunted by some of its formidable ancestors. The creature was found by Sean Funk, when he was digging at the Millennium Mine near Fort McMurray in northern Alberta, Canada, on March 21, 2011. He hit something which seemed out of place from the surrounding rock, and decided to take a closer look. The fossil he uncovered was sent to the Royal Tyrrell Museum of Paleontology. They spent the next six years working on uncovering the beast within the 2,500 pound, 1,100 kilograms, lump of earth. According to the museum, it is the best preserved armored dinosaur in the world, including skin and armor, and is complete from the snout to hips. The creatures were around 18 feet, 5 meters, long on average, and weighted up to 3,000 pounds, 1,300 kilograms. It featured two 20-inch long spikes which protruded from its shoulders. The dinosaur's undersea burial preserved its armor in exquisite detail. The fossilized remains of this particular specimen are so well preserved that remnants of skin still cover bumpy armor plates along the dinosaur's skull. As Michael Greshko wrote for National Geographic, such level of preservation is a rare as winning the lottery. The more I look at it, the more mind-boggling it becomes. Fossilized remnants of skin still cover the bumpy armor plates dotting the animal's skull. Its right forefoot lies by its side. Its five digits played upward. I can count the scales on its sole. 